Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I thought I would get back on here and share a little bit of my plastic free July journey because I think it's something that's really important and as I've been looking into research videos on YouTube have been one of the main things that have been my source of research so I thought I would share my journey with everyone if anyone's interested as well. I recently went out for brunch with one of my best friends Jen and she was talking a lot about her kind of journey with going plastic free and it really really got me thinking about how I should definitely be doing more which I had been thinking for a while but I think that conversation was just that last push that I needed so I went out that night online went to a ton of different stores and just stocked up on things to make sure that I could give plastic free July and then plastic free for months to come after that a good solid shot yeah I thought I'd just show you guys what I got and tell you how I've been finding things. The first store I purchased things from was Ever Eco. I think it's called like this, it's something, it's like a starter shopping set. I'll insert a picture here, but it comes with this um, nice big tote bag. And it's one of those tote bags that on the inside, I don't really know how to show you, but it has like pockets all around the inside. So you can put your vegetables, your jars, any loose stuff all around the edges in these pockets. It's really handy. I've only used it once so far, but it's a very, very big, very sturdy, bag and those pockets are really really useful when you're buying heaps of stuff. In the same kit it also came with some of these mesh produce bags. I've recently lived in Melbourne for a month and when I was doing all of my grocery shopping I was just like not putting things in bags like all of my vegetables and stuff I was just putting loose or like just holding them and then washing them. So it'd be really good to actually have bags to put them in so I'm very excited for that. Um, it came with I think it's two large ones and two smaller ones so they're really good and they have like a little like pull string at the top so you can tie them up it also came with these bags as well which would be really good for more like nuts or seeds those kind of things and this one just is two of these smaller ones so again it's got that pull string on the top and just like a really cute little way to carry things and it also came with one of these shopping bags and I love these bags I have heaps of these I think um, Zulu and Zephyr do their like their bikinis come in these bags or their clothes come in these bags so I actually have a ton of them and I love them they're so handy I always have one with me um, just anywhere I'm going and then it came with this bag which is what you can put all of the other bags inside and you can also use it as a bread bag so yeah that's the kit from Ever Eco, which I think is a really good starter kit to doing your grocery shopping with those bags instead of normal bags. Here in South Australia, we haven't had plastic bags in supermarkets for years now, so I'm very used to taking my own bags to the supermarket. I think for me, the issue was always just fruit and veg bags, like putting them in those plastic bags. Uh, so this kind of kit is going to be really handy to cut that out completely. I also got two more things from Ever Eco. I honestly could have bought so much from there. Um, I used to have one of their stainless steel little coffee mug things, but I left it in a car park and I was so sad ever since. I'd definitely repurchase it in summer because it was so good for keeping my iced coffee cold on the way to work. Um, but another thing I did get was a little cutlery set. I thought this would be really good because a lot of times when I'm eating out at markets or even like on flights, anything like that, and you always end up getting plastic cutlery. So this will be really good to just be able to take with me everywhere, have it in my bag in case I need some cutlery. And it's super, super cute, just little bamboo. And then the other thing I purchased was these drinking straws. I already had bamboo drinking straws and metal drinking straws, but I am such a chewer. <laughs> I'm like someone who always chews my straws and obviously with bamboo and metal drinking straws that hurts your teeth so I was really excited when I saw that Ever Eco has these silicone ones because this is right up my alley and these are just really like rubbery soft straws so good I can now like I'm not it's not hurting my teeth they are BPA free and phthalate free and they come in a pack of four they're really cute colors and you also get one of the little straw cleaners with it. My order came quite quickly. I ordered on the Sunday night and I think I got it on the Friday. So I'd imagine they probably have quite a lot of traffic at the moment, like a lot of orders since it's Plastic Free July. So I've actually been following along with Spell's Plastic Free July. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that they're kind of running a bit of a program. And one of the things, one of the girls mentioned a brand of kind of like 
hair products, body products, all of that, that are all like the bars. I was really curious about not only getting these bars for the reduction in plastic, but also for the reduction in kind of toxic chemicals that I was using in my beauty routine, which I've recently become quite aware of and it's really disturbing me. Um, so the brand is called uh, Ethic. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I hope so. Uh, so I got quite a few things from them and I kind of figured the girl's hair looked really nice who recommended it. So I guess like the whole stereotype around using shampoo and conditioner bars and this kind of stuff is that it won't be as good for your hair. So I used it today and I feel like my hair feels the same as it always feels. It's soft, it's, you know, I don't really notice any difference um, from my normal hair products, which I think is good. So I got a pack that came with the damage control shampoo bar and the guardian conditioner bar so these are both for normal to dry hair which is what I have and in the pack it also came with this little holder which is actually made of bamboo and it feels so much like plastic so that's crazy it's a bit wet because I used it this morning but it holds both your bars like that they smell amazing very pepperminty which is really nice it was the first thing I noticed when I opened the package it just smelled so good so yeah you basically just kind of foam it up and put it in your hair and it's super easy and then this has little holes in the bottom so that it can drain and stay nice and dry in your shower so it lasts a really long time it also came with a little sample of their frizz wrangler solid shampoo so I'll be definitely trying that one out as well that one smells really good too kind of coconutty when it came to face products, I decided to get their sampler face sampler kit, which comes with five mini samples of everything they have, um, just because I wasn't really sure what I wanted, which one I would like. Um, yeah, I had no idea. So I thought I'd get the sample kit. And it's really cute. It comes, looks like little love hearts. So it comes with the In Your Face Face Cleanser for Oily to Normal Skin, the Bliss Bar Face Cleanser for Normal to Dry Skin, the Ginger Snap uh, Face Scrub, the Perfecta Hydrating Face Moisturiser and the Saving Face Serum. I definitely can see myself purchasing the full versions. I've tried the In Your Face Face Cleanser so far and the Moisturiser. I love the Moisturiser and the cleanser is really nice too. I've used this cleanser like three times and it's barely made a dent. My camera battery totally just died halfway through so I cannot remember what I was just saying but yeah basically I'm just really excited to keep using these. I'm really excited by this brand and I will definitely keep you guys updated after I've used it for a few weeks and let you know how my skin's going and how my hair's feeling and whether I would recommend it. Hey so I just realized while editing this that they actually sell Ethic or Ethic at Priceline too and it's 20% off at the moment so hopefully it's still 20% off um, when I put this video up and definitely go check that out if you're interested in trying it. The last thing I bought I don't actually have here to show you because I think it's due to come tomorrow because it was actually on pre-order which is a good sign a lot of people are buying them um, and this is the Cappy I think is how you say it uh, and it's a stainless steel safety razor kind of deal so this is obviously a huge one because, you know, shaving your legs all the time, those razors, even if you get the reusable ones that you just change the head, which is what I have, still the whole handle is made of plastic and realistically it's still quite wasteful. Um, you know, you replace the heads all the time and that handle is so much unnecessary plastic. So I really thought it was time to invest in one of those. Um, it is quite expensive. It was like $60 or something ridiculous. But once you um, have the razor, the replacement heads are like 5 to $10 for... I think like five of them or something so it's very cheap on going once you have it so I just figured I'll just bite the bullet and get one and see if I like it and see how it goes I don't know I get a bit scared that I'm gonna cut myself or something so I would definitely review that um, as well and let you guys know how it goes and whether it's actually that scary or whether I'm just making it seem way more intimidating in my head so yeah those are the things that I got to help me reduce my plastic use for the month of July and ongoing. Um, other things that I've been using, I have already got bamboo toothbrush, um, I've obviously got my reusable coffee cup, um, containers and jars that I use for food and snacks um, taking to work or um, leftovers, anything like that. I think it's going to be a really interesting month and I'm definitely going to be doing a video I'll upload at the end of the month of my whole journey, what I found difficult and what I found easy and anything I learned along the way I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything that you have bought that you really recommend and swear by for the kind of plastic free 
lifestyle, anything that is, yeah, any products that have been amazing or any other brands that you're really loving. But apart from that, I think that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's terribly, terribly, terribly.